Greg, let's not get crazy. It didn't go quite the way I expected, but whatever. <laughs>
Test an intake sipionate, for example. You don't want to shoot that once every two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. It's not often enough. You won't have stable blood levels. My general practitioner who sent me to my endocrinologist, who is a specialist in this area, even he wanted me to inject my testosterone, which was an enanthate ester, delatestral, every two weeks. I had to have a chat and say, hey, don't mean to be rude, but shouldn't I be injecting it more frequently to get stable blood levels? Oh, but you'll have to inject every week. That's, that's a lot of injecting. Are you, could you handle that? Doc, I've done shots every single day for shows. This is not a big deal. I'm off testosterone. I'm off steroids now. I want to feel normal. And I don't trust doing a shot every two weeks. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you can do it once a week. That's the kind of conversation you have to have with your doctor. If you don't know anything about it, the doctor say, hey, do a shot every two weeks. You just say, hey, okay, I'll do a shot every two weeks. Imagine it had it been every four weeks. Feel like great, feel like Superman for a while. Then by the end of it, ah, this sucks. Every week for me is fine. For me, it's fine. I don't need to worry about it. If I felt it wasn't, I would be doing it every five days. I, I have no problem with that. For you, maybe you need to do it more often. That's totally up to you and your doctor. And then you have guys microdosing. Really, do you really need to take that 0 0.1, 0 0.2 injection every other day? And he talks about microdosing and he says, hey, I've been on this stuff for 25 years. Doing a microdose, so for example, shooting a 0 0.1 every day. Do you know how old that gets real quick? It is not fun to inject every single day. Maybe at first and you've never done it before and it's a novelty, oh yeah, I like this. You're not going to like it forever. And dosing that frequently, you don't need to. It's kind of like saying, hey, I got to eat eight meals a day because I'm a bodybuilder. You sure you wouldn't get the same results on five? It's probably plenty now, isn't it? Maybe four, that's plenty. So with your shots, he's saying, doing shots every day, every other day, even every three days. Yeah, sure, there's nothing wrong with it, but do you need to? You probably don't want to do this for the rest of your life. Having to do a shot, stab yourself, poke a hole into your body every single day for the rest of your life. That's a long life, hopefully, okay? So for me, once a week, he said, hey, once a week, twice a week, that's good. If you want to do more, fine. Some people, they might get better benefits from doing it. Most people, you're good with twice a week. But the truth is, when you take testosterone so long, you really think you're going to be dosing it on a daily basis or an every two or three day basis. It gets old. Do you really need to? Do you need to microdose so much on that? It's man per man. Some men really do. And there's no question they have to be watching. It's the best way to go. But most men in the end take it maybe two times a week to once a week and you find the right dose. And he says it's man per man. It's man per woman per circle. No need to discriminate. Some women are on HRT as well. Don't forget it's not just men who use HRT. And I do know lots of females on HRT. Don't think it doesn't exist. And don't think that just because you're a woman on steroids, testosterone being a steroid, that you're somehow a man. Women, they make testosterone too. Did you know that? Or did you think that women just had estrogen? Women make testosterone as well. Trust me, they do, and they need it. And if they're low on testosterone, it ain't good. They got too much testosterone, not good either. But you have to have somewhere in the balance, in the middle. So the hair, he goes into the hair. And look, if you have hair loss as a young man without testosterone and you, you take testosterone, Greg talks about it, starts from the sides up. Greg, let's not get crazy. Hey, hey, doc, you got to give him the truth. The hair, it recedes from the bottom up. Look, that's what HRT did. See how I have short hair here and it gets longer as you go up? That's what HRT does to people. The anabolic doc, you got to keep it real. Everyone knows that when you go bald, it's from the bottom up, not this way. No, no, that's the truth. That's how it works. And I'm being sarcastic. But then Greg says that he has narcolepsy and he's exhausted and he's tired. Drink coffee. So the truth really is, I just think it's funny, Greg, you're not a doctor, but you're bringing great stuff to the world. So he thinks it's funny, I'm not a doctor, but I'm bringing great stuff to the world. Now with my narcolepsy, this actually was happening long before I used PEDs. 
long before steroids long before testosterone okay i would fall asleep even as a teenager out of nowhere okay as a young person in my 20s fall asleep in class fall asleep out of the blue drive in a vehicle fall asleep it's not fun stimulants will help and yeah don't need to write in the comments about every drug modafinil and all the different things is they're taking this i got it figured out i'm good people it's okay see what happens is when i'm on hrt i fall asleep and hrt it wakes me up and does things while i'm actually sleeping so it rides my bike for me it lifts the weights for me makes my bed eats for me it does everything it's quite amazing in fact it does it all i don't do anything so i wake up and i'm like wow i just did a freaking two hour bike ride it's amazing Okay, HRT, it's better than you think. Am I really being sarcastic there? I'll, I'll let you guys decide. He's being very cautious because Greg, I think, has a good heart. Yes, he says, I think Greg has a good heart. Well, duh, he's probably seen how I'm racing my bicycle. I'm training hours and hours a week. Hard cardio, harder than last time, setting KOMs, that's right. Not bad. I mean, I'm not amazing, but I'm pretty respectable bike rider. So yeah, the doc's right. My heart is real good. I think Greg's pretty ethical, very ethical compared to some of these other places. And Greg is on steroids. He's honest. He's on TRT. And he's just letting the world know. And he says I'm ethical compared to these other places. Yeah, like Dr. Mike Diamonds. I mean, just because I'm not a doctor doesn't mean I'm not ethical. I'm doing the best to help people with quality information. If you don't lie to people, it's quite easy to be ethical. Just tell people the truth. It's that simple. Greg looks incredible. I think Greg has great genetics. I keep, I looked at some of the strength feats of Greg and I'm a strong guy. I benched 500 with a bench press shoot on at 198. Greg like benched 500 raw. If this is true, I gotta tell you, this guy's strong. With or without steroids, he was only 200 pounds when he benched 500 raw. That's just freakish. And have I bench pressed 500 pounds raw? Yes, I in fact bench 529 raw and paused. I've done it twice in two separate competitions. Once under 40, once over 40. Over 40 is the world record. Currently stands for people above the age of 40 in that weight class. So there you go, I still have a record. What about Natty? 451 raw natural. Pause, that's the best I'd ever done. What about with a shirt? I did 585 raw and natural in the gym. There's video of it. I had 142 pound kids spotting me who didn't touch the bar. But the shirts did most of the work. And he considers health. And he's not as old as me, but he's getting older. And he realizes there has to be some conservativeness. And you can't be living on steroid doses, although he's done them for years. And exactly. As you get older, you realize, hey, I like being alive. I, I really do a lot. I like being alive so much that I choose not to abuse PDs in order to live longer. Okay. I would love to be on a steroid cycle right now. Trust me. It's almost been a year since my last cycle, since I did a competition for classic physique. And since then I've been on HRT. I want to do more. I want up my doses. I'd love to do something. I'd like to be bigger, but I like to be healthy. And frankly, am I not big enough? I'm not huge. I was 196 pounds this morning. I'm five foot six and a quarter. I have a 9% body fat. It's not bad. It's not ginormous. I'm not a 212 pro freak. I'm not in the Olympia. But hey, I'm alive and I feel good. And that's quite important. And adding more muscle, probably not going to make me faster on the bike now, is it? So the energy and the recovery is incredible. If your red blood cells go up and you're lethargic and you're hypertensive, you're not going to have any, any good feelings and your energy is going to be squashed. So correct. Make sure you get some good medical attention. Do you have high blood pressure? What is your blood work saying? If it's bad, change it. Make changes, be proactive. Don't just blast anything you want, take anything you want and say, I'll worry about it when I'm 45, 55, 65, whatever. You wanna make it to those higher numbers. You gotta be proactive with your health. And for goodness sakes, do some freaking cardio. Oh, I'm a bodybuilder. I don't, I don't wanna do cardio, I'll lose my gains. You're gonna lose all your gains when you're withering away in a coffin now, aren't you? Do your freaking cardio. Heart's the most important muscle, way more important -er than even the biceps. I talked to a man today who after four years of being on testosterone, he did minimal steroids, his sex drive is horrible, his penis and his perineum and his sexual function, he's numb. His perineums. Now, maybe he's talking about Coach Greg going for an extra long bike ride. You ever seen those little seats? They're not the most comfortable things in the world, now are they?
And at what age should you start testosterone? 25, 35, 45, 55, what? At what age is the right age? He says, hey, I'm not gonna make fun of you if you're 27 and you say, I'm starting to get old. Well, I am. If you're 27 and you think you're old, you're out to lunch. I'm 45 and I don't feel old. You're not old if you're in your 20s. 25, 35, 45, 65? Is it based just on the numbers? I'm working on this. Who knows, really? It's up to you to decide along with your doctor. Look at the blood work. Ask your doctor, do research. But remember, once you decide to go on HRT, it is for life. It's not a little small decision. Oh, I'll just do it for three months and decide later if I should keep going. Once you start, you need to be doing it for life. If you go off, you're not going to feel the same. Once you get used to the feelings of being on HRT and you feel great again, you're not going to want to lose that. So don't think, oh, I'll just try it for three months and I'll decide later. No, it's not a freaking car. You can't trade it in you're going to potentially want to be or need to be on testosterone for life. This is what I'm dealing with. So again, these are just soft. I'm trying to always be soft and not bashing and guys say, Doc, you're a Debbie Downer. Doc, you watch Debbie Does Dallas? The doc's pretty old. He probably knows that reference. When guys walk out of a TRT clinic and they're on testosterone, whatever dose it's gonna be, every other day, twice a week, once a week, they're on aromas, aromatase inhibitors, HCG, sometimes Clomid, and other drugs. That's gonna be wrong, guys. Common sense is common sense. I've been preaching this for years. If you come out of your HRT clinic and you got your testosterone, you need it, hopefully, yeah, okay. But you also got HCG, a bunch of AIs, Clomid? Every other thing and under the sun, you went in for tests and you walk out with five things. How much money did they make selling that? <laughs> Think about it. Do you actually need it? Ask them. Ask another doctor. Do some research. Maybe have a phone call to with Coach Greg or another doctor. People out there, they know a little bit more than you. You can learn from them. I'm not a doctor, but I can certainly tell you what I think. I can tell you what questions to ask your own doctor. And then you can make an educated decision as to why are they telling you to take all this shit? Trust me, I've seen people walk out of HRT clinics and ask to pay $10,000 for a cycle. I don't think it's HRT when your doses are five times higher than what I'm on. Pretty sure that's a freaking cycle. Oh, I'm on HRT. I don't, gee, I'm, I'm, I'm on Natty. Nope, you are not. Testosterone is testosterone. You work around the doses. You have proper care. Every man has medical issues. You got to stay close to the doc, your doc, some doctor. You got to really learn it. You got to be careful. Every man has medical issues. You got to stay close to the doc your doc, some doctor, you got to really learn it. You got to be careful. So in the end of the day, Greg, you did a good job and you're getting crazy, Greg. God, it's getting crazy, but you know, you're incredible. Um, it's amazing what you're providing to the world. Stay humble, Greg, stay humble. And it's great to see that someone else out there does give the warnings as he's looking good and feeling good, but he's saying there's no free lunch. Well, no, because my anabolic cookbook is $99. Yeah, I gotta plug in my freaking cookbook. Buy my cookbook. Helps eat delicious food. You'll love the food. You'll eat it for the rest of your life. None of this yo-yo diet bullshit. You eat the foods you love all the time for the rest of your life, always, forever. Do you think it's not working? Do I look like I'm obese? Well, I am technically by clinical definition because my BMI is over 31, but whatever. I feel good, I'm 45, I'm eating the same diet for years, decades I've been eating this food. But hey, give a man, woman, or circle a fish and they eat for probably about two meals. But if you teach them how to fish, the man, woman, and circle, they will eat for about a week straight and then they get sick of it, right, Chris Bumstead? And then you go on to the chicken and you eat that for a week, you get sick of that, and then you eat something else. Eat a variety of food that's freaking delicious like I do forever. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset, IFBB Pro. We blooping up two videos, both of which you should watch. You may or may not, but please try to watch at least one. And until next time, get a swoosh, click the bell button, and I am out.